Whoa, are those prints? Now those are some really nice bed sheets. You're watching Twisted Tech TV, the technology video podcast about software, computers, and other types of geekery. Um, today we look at different browsers and um, all the major browsers claim to be the fastest. So we went and we benchmarked them to find out which one was in fact clocking in as being the absolute fastest. And um, we'll give you the raw data that we got and um, explain um, some of the results. Here we're going to be testing Windows XP and Windows Vista. And um, over on the other side, uh, we have a um, iMac that we're going to be testing browsers on Mac OS with. Uh, the test that we're going to run, we're going to test certain categories such as um, rendering time for CSS. Uh, by doing this, uh, we've um, made a HTML file that has um, inline styled uh, divs. Um, for each of these documents, I uh, we went through and made thousands of instances so we can measure the time. Um, we also have a test for measuring the image rendering speed for um, these browsers and another test for benchmarking the JavaScript speed and finally a test for testing how fast they can render tables within a website. So um, we're going to go ahead and run some of these tests and stay tuned here for the results. Okay, I um, have a printout of the test results here in my hand. Uh, what we did was we ran each of the tests 10 times on each of the browsers we tested in Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Mac OS. Um, the only test we did not run 10 times, uh, we only ran it five times, was a JavaScript test. Uh, let me explain um, what we actually did for the test. For the CSS test, we um, ran through a document. Now, all these documents are local files so that we do not have to deal with internet latency as a factor in the benchmark speed. Uh, for the CSS test, we ran a HTML document that had over 10,000 divs. Each of the divs were styled and positioned. Um, for the image test, we had six different images, and we repeated the instances of those images within the HTML file over 25,000 times. And for the table test, we used a browser comparison chart that we copied over and over again within a document until we ended up with a five megabyte HTML file. And finally, for the JavaScript test, we used a very popular package called Bench.js. Um, so uh, here are the results for XP on a CSS portion. Now, uh, this is a little bit surprising, actually. Um, I'll explain why here in a moment. The fastest one turned out to be Opera. Uh, the browsers we tested were IE6, Firefox 1.5.0.7. Uh, we tested Mozilla 1.7.13, Opera 9.02, and Maxon 1.5.7. Now, uh, Opera was the fastest one in the CSS test, came in at 1.2 seconds. And um, the second fastest one was IE and Maxon. Both of those clocked in at 1.5 seconds. And um, the next one after that is Firefox at 2.4 seconds. And finally, it was Mozilla at 4.5 seconds. Now, um, what's surprising about the results are um, if you use Firefox, you certainly feel like Firefox is faster than IE. So how could it be that it has a slower speed than IE? Uh, these results are actually um, throughout the rest of the test as well. Uh, let me explain. IE runs off of the Trident rendering engine. And um, Mozilla and Firefox, those run off of the Gecko rendering engine. And finally, Opera, it runs off of Presto. Uh, Maxon, the other browser, also runs off of Trident. Um, each of those are different rendering engines. They do different things. Uh, Trident, which is used for IE, is really fast, um, but it's not highly optimized for rendering a, um, a web page as, um, as the code is being loaded within a browser, whereas Gecko and Presto, they are highly optimized for that. Now, Pres in Presto's case, it is also extremely, extremely fast. 
Um, in the case of Gecko, uh, what that means is um, it renders the page as it goes and gives more immediate uh, user feedback as compared to Trident. So if you're loading a page using the Gecko rendering engine in Firefox, you're going to see more immediate feedback. You'll see more portions of the pages as it's loading in Firefox than you will with, say, IE's Trident. And that's the reason why Firefox feels faster when people are using it. But um, we actually ended up with a slower benchmark speed, which is um, interesting. Um, we're going to post the uh, rest of the results on a screen so that you can take a look here. Uh, for the images, the tables, JavaScript, and of course for Windows Vista and the browsers that we tested on the Mac OS X. So as you can see from the test results here of the raw rendering speed, Opera is extremely fast. And um, because Opera uses the Presto rendering engine, it also gives immediate user feedback, much similar to Gecko. So it also feels fast to the user. It's not just a um, number value that is showing it to be super fast, unlike um, in a case of, say, IE, uh, whereas um, it seems slower to the user, but in fact, it has a rather fast speed. Um, on Mac OS X, Safari just absolutely rules. Um, speed is totally unbeatable. Um, Opera, again, on Mac OS X is um, very fast as well. Um, then it is followed by Camino, and finally Firefox, uh, both of those using the Gecko rendering engine, of course. And Mozilla, as you can see from the results, were extremely slow on Mac OS X. Uh, we're not exactly sure the reason why, but it could be that their OS X install package is not a universal binary. Uh, well, I mean, as you saw, it was extremely, extremely slow. So never use Mozilla if you're on Mac OS X. And that about sums it up for our browser benchmark review. So hopefully from um, the benchmark results and um, our explanation about the uh, different rendering engines in the major browsers gives you a pretty good idea of what the benchmarks mean and that it's not just the raw numbers that actually means a browser is the fastest. Uh, there's all types of other variables involved. Some of the ones I didn't go over in the show are also, um, of course, uh, the power of your CPU, how much RAM you have, uh, you know, different things like that. So um, there are many factors in it and it is not just the raw speed at which it renders, there's also the different rendering engines. Uh, in the case of Gecko, it actually clocks in slower during the benchmarks, but in fact, to a user, it feels like it's faster than, say, IE's Trident, which actually had a lower speed. Um, that's it for uh, Twisted Tech TV. Um, I hope you guys will come back and watch our next video podcast. Uh, and um, if you want to advertise with us or um, visit our site for show notes, uh, you just do that at twistedtech.tv. Hope to see you again.